Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at some SWAT gameplay on Abandon in the multi-team playlist. In this playlist you have six teams of two. The first thing I want you guys to recognize and realize is that I will be manipulating spawns during this game and noticing where people spawn and using that to my advantage. There's a very big difference between camping spawns and manipulating them. If you're an experienced player you realize that and you will notice that in this video. Now the main spawn points to notice. Here. Here. And here. Notice I'm not pointing out a general, I'm pointing a very general area because it's, again, it's general. And I'm going to go back to the back here. In this general area as well. Um, right here and further back into this little cave here. And those are the spawns I will be manipulating and using to my advantage during this game. During this game I get 32 kills, 11 deaths, and an impressive 3 overkills. In multi-team, if you have a very good shot and you are aware of these spawn points, you can use them to their advantage. Now, what did I just do there? Those two players spawned here and rushed this way. Okay, that's all I did. I didn't know they were going to be there, but I am checking these points constantly. I'm looking at these points. You'll notice me going back and forth between these points. Over here where I am right now is a very slow area of the map. You don't get a lot of traffic in this general area. I do end up picking up one kill, but Purple Forest right here is where you want to be. And it works out for me pretty well during this game. Definitely recommend using the Battle Rifle and not the DMR on this map, as it is a close range map. The bullet spread of each trigger pull of the battle rifle is very easy to pick up headshots with. So a long range map like Complex would and If you're not convinced by the, by the headshot you just saw to use the battle rifle, I don't know what will convince you. The bullet spread on the battle rifle is insane at taking out enemy players. It's unbelievable. You can pick up headshots like you just saw and it really is phenomenal. I should have looked to my right here as a guy ends up cleaning me up. I don't know why I was looking the long range way. I should have checked my right, but I did. Again, looking at where people are spawning, notice how that's where they generally are. That's where they generally are. They're in that area. The yellow team is very good in this game. They end up um, contending us for the lead a while. For this throughout this game. Notice how my teammates spawn behind me there, right in the middle of players. Uh, Halo 4 will allow you to spawn directly behind or in front of people. Um, if you've played Octagon, you know that that's the case. It's very difficult to make maps where the spawning is not screwed up in Halo 4. Um, Haven would be a Haven multi-team King of the Hill would be a great example of this, as you're standing in the middle of the map and people will rush up the ramp that you just spawned on. They'll rush up behind you and kill you. There I just lingered for far too long and as you can see I spawned directly behind someone. And I spawned exactly where one of the main spawn points on the map. So I'm making sure that I look through here and turn around and there's a guy behind me who would just most likely just spawn. Just going back and forth pinballing between these spawns. Again, I'm using, going in between the trees, using those sight lines to make sure that I'm always behind cover somewhat. I'm never completely open in the middle of one of these trees. I'm always hugging them and keeping to the side. Not sure how that headshot didn't let register, but that's okay. I'm in a very bad position. I don't know why I pushed down here. I end up being cleaned up very fast. You never want to give up your position if it's good. Um, there will be slow points in the game where you don't get as many kills as you maybe think you should, but I can promise you in multi-team SWAT, staying in the same position and holding the same area is much preferable that, than giving up that position, because you could spawn on the opposite end of the map and spawn there for your next five lives, and it sucks when that happens. Now, you may not wonder how in the world that I just do that, because I knew that there could be a guy spawning. I checked to my right, and then I checked to my left. I checked to my right, then I checked to my left. Pinballing between the spawn points I mentioned at the beginning of the game. I call out to my teammate Soap. There's a guy behind him. I end up cleaning up that guy. 
get a really good triple kill headshot on this guy. Catch a guy off guard again. He spawns. And you gotta be thinking, okay, when a guy spawns, all right, what is he gonna do if he's right here? Well, he wants to get out of this position as soon as possible, okay? So he's gonna run up here or he's gonna go down here, okay? And that's exactly what these guys are doing. That's all I'm doing is noticing where they are and what they're doing. It's general areas and lines of sight more than it is actually knowing where they're going to spawn. Like that guy. He just spawned. He just jumped to his left, spawned, jumped to his left, and I happened to catch him off guard. This guy ends up being doing a very cool maneuver. You see, I thought he was going to jump there, so my reticle was above him. That was a really good play on his part. He was a guest, actually. And we'll be cleaning up this game pretty shortly here. And there you go. Guys, uh, I'd like to shout out to my teammate Soap, who played many games with me that night. Very good teammate. And guys, if you like this type of gameplay, me slowing it down, giving you a more in-depth description of what's going on, like the video, please. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'll see you on the next video or whatever I end up capturing. Thanks, guys.